Okay, so welcome everybody uh, to the YPM and um, today it's a few new people here, which is always great to see. Um, we're very happy to welcome Fiat and Camille here uh, to the YPM. Um, Fiat is, as I'm sure you all know, the CEO of the Digital Hub, even though you might not know exactly what that is, but we're about to find out uh, today. Can you tell me what it is? Yeah. <laughs> um, Fiat is also, you know, has been CEO of the Digital Hub since 2016, and before that he had uh, a uh, successful career as the head of the Abbey Theatre um, and has also uh, served as a, a senator in the Senate. Mm -hmm. um, he went to Trinity originally and just finished a master's in, in UCD with, with another YPM member, so <laughs> my friends here. Mm -hmm. um, so the discussion here is going to be, uh, and then all the record discussions will be filmed and then after the presentation we'll have uh, an off-the-record uh, chat where you can just ask further questions um, about whatever you want. So I'll hand it over to you. Thanks Ian, and uh, delighted to be involved here. So I'll just give a presentation of, <clears throat> I mean the, the role less than two years, uh, so it's been a bit, a bit of a journey for me <clears throat> in terms of uh, trying to uh, uh, engage with what this is. So I'll, I'll, I'll give you a presentation and then I'll have to answer any questions because there's a lot of, kind of public policy issues uh, around it, but it's also sort of an exciting area because it, it crisscrosses several uh, functions and policy areas that might not necessarily be understood by the parent department that, that we're under. So I'm happy to talk away, talk away on this. So, the Digital Hub, uh, we're a vibrant, diverse, and collaborative community in Dublin 8, um, and we are a statutory agency. So, we're a statutory body in absolute 2003, and uh, I believe one of the reasons I got the job was that I read the Act before the interview. <laughs> so, it's my gift to all of you, as you uh, in terms of your career, uh, and you're all trained in it, but ultimately, I read the Act, and the Act became was not essentially what the Digital Hub was doing at the time. And so for me, it became an enabling tool. Uh, going back to the Act, often over the, the following two years as a way of, okay, what is it? Okay, looking back at the Act, because you know people thought it was something else, or people you know, went down and maybe a cul-de-sac. And so I found it quite liberating, although as we know, legislation can be debilitating, but I just actually found something liberating. I was able to look at it and parse it, and therefore dealing with policymakers, and particularly dealing with government departments, was always a good touch point to go back and well, actually, section says this, and this section says that, and whatever. So for me, it was, a, it was always a reminder, and I pinned it up on my wall as something that, to remind me of, of what the, where the authority, of where the empowerment lies, and what you want to do or not do. So we're the largest cluster of technology, digital media companies in Ireland. You know, uh, uh, and we support scaling and emerging companies. So we have 2.7 hectares of space in the Thomas Street area, and that 2.7 hectare space is actually written in the Act. So it, 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 it's, got, it's got a bound that says uh, Digital Hub goes from Thomas Street up Crane Street across the Rain Street. So that's also interesting and, and kind of unique. Um, we have nine buildings, we have 80 companies working in the digital space, with 750 uh, people working, and we have a, a, an FDI ratio. And it's around the theory of clustering, you know, the cluster idea that uh, you have diverse companies working across. Um, and what we do essentially support companies who, are, uh, who have e an economic and or social benefit. So that social benefit is an important part, and that's where I'm trying to pivot that uh, role of the hub that actually, uh, where we are now, where we see inequality, where we see uh, a gap in where technology can support, uh, and it's an area that I'm happy to discuss. And we're soft landing for IDA and enterprise Ireland companies, and that you know as companies come in, we can support, we can support them. So some facts and figures: we're at the moment, two point eight million in terms of commercial revenue, twenty cent churn. What we mean by that is we, you know, of the 70 to 80 companies we have, we encourage companies to scale and leave. And other companies can, can, uh, can come in, so that actually there's always a kind of a dynamism that it's not the same companies there uh, all the time. We're set at 2,000 square feet, we have diversity, and uh, we will about <coughs> to do uh, doubling our office space in the next five years. So, this is I don't know if any of you, um, any of you live or work in Dublin 8 or from Dublin 8. Okay, so this is a shot from uh, uh, 
from the north side, so this is obviously Liffey, we to see here, and I'm just going to roll, it's about uh, 40 seconds, so uh, it's a sweep of the, all the, the land and property that we own, we own all this land, of which we, 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 we'll be developing shortly. So, very deprived area as well, lots of inequality, lots of large debt schools. This is a Bridgeford Street community park, which we work closely with the local community there. Um, we, and of course, there's all of Guinness, which they're going to redevelop as well. And up there is their powerhouse. This is the Guinness storehouse up here, which most of you probably know. We own this property here, which is a big warehouse space that we need to develop. And we develop it towards the tech, creative community, but also social impact. Again, we all this space here is is full of our companies, and our companies range from two to seventy companies to seventy employees. A very famous old tower here, which used to be the largest windmill, smock windmill that did Rhodes whiskey, which was the greatest exporter of whiskey to America in the seventeenth and eighteenth century. Um, this is my office right here. This is Thomas Street here, um, and we own all this property here where we're going to look at supporting uh, um, um, uh, revitalised, regenerated part of, uh, part of Dublin. Uh, and then again, the properties here and here that we have uh, uh, companies in, digital companies. So it's a large space, okay, and, and, and it's quite an exciting space. One of the reasons that I, that I looked at it was, was to be able to, to see how we can support what we access and how we can regenerate and support, uh, uh, develop the, the local area. So again, remember generation is another core value. So enterprise is one thing. Digital enterprise, the largest cluster. The second piece in the act is around our regeneration. We have all these properties, some of them listed, and the idea is that we need to put them back into use. So even though we're in the Department of Communications and Climate Action and the Environment, that's our parent department. You know, this is the urban renewal piece. So we, we have to engage with the Dublin City Council, we have to engage with the Department of Heritage, Property environment, um, uh, and, and, and then this is this is gives you a sense of. Uh These are all the diverse companies and areas you work in. So we work on, with innovation, we work in an innovative way, we also work closely with some of our, uh, we have a fantastic, uh, the National College of Art and Design is already down the road, we have James Hospital, we have Children's Hospital, and so there's a kind of a, a, a kind of emerging uh, ecosystem there that allows us to support uh, innovation, support <coughs> technology uh, in terms of, of a use for social use, and then we work with, with, uh, with uh, enterprise and, and uh, and scaling companies. Uh, the whole lot of enterprise work, part of my role is working with CEOs and working with companies who need mentoring, uh, who may need advice on financing. And we also, because of my interest in the local community and community development, as a part of, in other words, the inequality piece is no use if one part of society is growing. How do we 
bridge that digital divide. Sometimes we do that through mentoring. Sometimes we do that through working with the in terms of training programs and engaging programs as well. So again, we're, we have a future creators and future cadets program where we're looking work with young girls and boys uh, from the age of twelve to seventeen on STEM and STEAM. Uh, projects, um, uh, particularly because uh, this DESH school, there was a lot of schools in our area are in social disadvantage and uh, uh, my role is to try and support the understanding that young boys and girls in Dublin age uh, can actually aspire to further education, whether it's through apprenticeship, through full-time third level education or through ongoing online education. So that's, and it really ends up being about self-esteem and the idea of collaboration, the idea of Joint decision making as well. So we have a Liberate Music Technology program with the local uh, local uh, uh, BIM College, and we work with Dublin International Film Fest as well on a on a screen A program. Uh, we work with Declan Ryan, the humanitarian, uh, the uh, one humanitarian where we we offer t uh, language learning programs for migrants and direct provision. Uh, uh, immigrants who have th already third level education but haven't got the confidence to uh, engage at university or to apply to university that kind of you know step up in terms of academic English so to speak and have to write an SSF confidence so we have qualified pediatricians, qualified doctors, lawyers from their own community, we have several from Syria who we try and give them the, uh, kind of their own uh, uh, full time uh, exposure to uh, the use of, of the English language that allows them to go and pursue accreditation in Ireland as well. Uh, Deaf and Ryan gives, 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 we give it to them for free and it's over uh, like four days a week and uh, they, we integrate them into our community as well and we're very pleased and proud of that as well. Um, our final, my final slide is around the idea that we are about connecting communities, we're about connecting the word community can be used and, uh, and loosely used, but we work with <coughs> the communities of, of, the, of our tech and entrepreneurs and our local community in Dublin Aid who have, I suppose, been shown to show the industry over 300 years, whether it's with Guinness in, in <coughs> the 16th, 17th century or today in the tech and creative community. That's it. Okay.